welcome back to another video guys and thank you guys for joining me your boy tony for another banger i got some cool car parts for the z man we got a big box from z1 right now i'm actually on the way to the mad scientist house man so while i get there and warm up my z y'all can hit that subscribe button hit that like button because we're gonna get into a banger today man this ladies and gentlemen is why we come to the mad scientist house right here got me in the sombra with some taco truck later It's pretty good. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to get into today. So, I think I showed you guys before. You guys remember with this messed up wheel? So, instead of just doing the wheel bearing and getting the 350Z one, I went ahead and got some 370 ones and then 370 axles because you have to get the set together because they don't, they, you can't mismatch them. So, it's 370 wheel hubs and then 370 axles, you know? So, both sides. And then I'm going to show you, but they're just basically a lot beefier. And I got this off from Z1. That's a go-to place. We'll show you guys that later when we compare them and we'll take off one side, but right now. Caliper needs to come off. Take off your e-brake. And just like that, it'll come off like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that big socket right here? If all is well, should be 36 millimeter. It is not. If you guys didn't know, these are your e-brake pads. Can you feel me? It's like a drum. Is that better design than this? And this, this looks like it's a like it weighs a lot now. Yeah. Like having to do like the e brake like this. A, so it engages the caliper then. Yeah, there's a, there's a yeah there's like a little lever back here and it and it kind of has like a worm gear I think mm -hmm. is what it is and then it just twists and it pushes out on the piston and then it clamps it from those instead of a drum kind of setup. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And then you hit it with your purse. Twenty pound sledge. Yeah. Look at that beautiful rust, that beautiful JDM this. I think it's gonna be easier if we just take the axle off right now, huh? Even when the sun comes falling, you and you and you and I. Mile long stack up of adapters. <laughs> now that you're taking your beautiful bolts out, this thing should just come out. Since we already smacked it with your... With the purse. Well. Oh, we gotta hit it one more time. And with the purse, yeah. Well, get a socket on it and then smack it that way. Oh, here. Love you all. Surprisingly, not. We'll keep it. Smaller socket again. Eso metal. Severely rushed it though on that end. I'll give you that. But I mean, it doesn't make contact with metal. It's major play in them. How do you find that play? You twist them. Oh. A little bit of back punch, but... Nothing oh. too bad? No, I don't think they, they were still good. Two well, tuners actually shoot me offers, man. I know what I got, you know? Two tuners approved. 500. It It'll handle all 293 horsepower. Bust out your contraption with the 17 loaded up at the end. Zap these four out on the back of the hub. Oh, oh, snap. That was beautiful. That was the most magical moment I've ever witnessed on this. You guys saw me just pull this wheel bearing out, man. You feel me? So this is everything right next to each other, man. We're just over here going through it, you know? It's having a great point about this taking up a lot of force because look at how big this is, man, compared to the other one. See how this is a lot fatter? Deeper. A lot, yeah, there you go. A lot deeper, as Zane likes to put it. Yeah, because this is, what is this? This is just like the actual hub shaft, no? Yeah, just that's right just here. Like, yeah, the... man. yeah, this is, wow. So it'll, right. it'll cope with perpendicular forces a lot better. You can So you can like twist this guy like this mm -hmm. a lot easier than this guy. So since this guy's wider, mm -hmm. it'll cope with those perpendicular forces a lot better. Cool. I mean, they look to be about like the same, like uh, height and everything, like both parts. No, dim dimensionally, yeah. they're the same. It's just yeah. a beefed up bearing in the same package. Cause I was concerned that it was gonna push out a, a little bit more, but it's not. Cause I mean, look, even when we're talking about this right here, how the flange is a lot fatter on the 370 and the 350Zs, but this is a lot bigger, right? I'm not tripping, right? This looks a lot bigger. It does. Yeah. Than that one does. That's interesting. That's interesting. Might be a better material though. Mm-hmm. And it's shiny. We love shiny. 
These also look a lot beefier right here too. Like it's this. a bigger spline. Yeah. It is a bigger. Uh, Looks a lot That's why you have to get 370. You can mm -hmm. see it right here. Pretty sure you can see it. Just the diameter oh, of the yeah, spline. Yeah a, lot, yeah, a lot more. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is what usually shears on most axles. Mm -hmm. Is this? Also, oh, then it's just like spinning freely in there. Yeah. So you can oh, okay, just okay. put it break. Mm -hmm. So by having a bigger, uh, like, you know, spline shaft mm -hmm. right here, that's a lot stronger. So I wasn't even putting in work, huh? Damn. Well, actually, I don't know. I want to pull that one out and see if I was putting work the other side. All right, we're slapping in the car, man. I'm happy. I'm excited to see this, man. A little bit of anti-season here. Is that copper? Yes. Oh, there we go. A lot better. They taught me that the dark part is where the threads go. Can you just show these people how nice this is? It's dirty right now though, I use it. Jeez. And it's got the swivel head? Yeah. Okay. This is for you, my boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I already scratched it. Beautiful. Those will do good and tight. I was noticing that these don't look that much fatter though. They don't. They don't, huh? It just make. It's just probably just a well, be a much wetter, it's the much better. I made think them. it's the hub and the splines, to be honest. Is it just me? Do you see? Or did you see play when you did that, like inside of the? Yeah. Oh boy, you need to rebuild your diff bearings. Carrier? Was that carrier bearings or? I'm not sure, but yeah, you were right. God damn, dude. That's probably why your thing is leaking. Is there is there radio play like side to side? What do you mean like? Like when? Yeah. In and out is probably fine, but side to side. Well, it comes out. It right in and out is fine, but like side to side, like radial. Like you're pulling it in and out, and I push it like sideways. Like, or push it up and down, like from where. You're, yeah, that's. You need a diff rebuild. Damn. The more you, th the more you know, huh? Yeah, the more you wanna... I don't think those bearings are supposed to be like that. Anyways. Back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for another video. Yeah, it'll be another video. More content. You know, more content. My car keeps breaking. It's just more content. I don't know if I finish this one, actually. The amount of abuse it takes, though. Jeez. And it still keeps going. Like, if nothing goes wrong. Yeah, huh? It always amazes Nothing me. is wrong, Zay. It's fine. It'll be all right. Yeah. No pasa nada. Solid everything, shock loads everything. So no that's solid. why when you do a launch a in this time. thing, anytime you're launching, I think any car for that matter, you want to drag the clutch. I can't just send it like I've been? You kind of dump the clutch from the floor, don't you? Like yeah. your, your clutch is pushed all the way down to the floor and then you dump it? No, right before the, the launch, my car's creeping like very, very slowly. Okay. So, it's, so I'm almost out, and then once I'm the, they drop him, or once they raise their hands, I'm out, you know? I just yeah, fucking... so you leave your... What you do on any car when you launch it is you drag the clutch. Mm -hmm. So, like, you just barely get it to where the car is creeping. You step on the brake, mm -hmm. or e-brake if you have it, which mm -hmm. is nice. You can hold it with your hand. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you get it to your desired revs, and then you dump the e-brake and the clutch at the same time. Mm-hmm. That way, you're, that way your gears and everything are already loaded and they don't like slap back and forth. It's the shock loading that- Oh, I get up. what you're saying. That's what fucks this up, huh? Yeah, shock loading. It's the slapping of, of it going back and forth. So I already load it and then just have to drop the e-brake? Yeah, e-brake and give it gas and let the clutch out. So we're just in the preload on this bad boy real quick? Since so we, we have the time, you know? So we had it uh, a compressed length of seven and a half. And it's an uncompressed length of 200 millimeters. You can see on that part number, or seven and seven eighth inch inches. But because this is a, a like a double wishbone style rear end, um, we only need an eighth inch of preload. If it was like McPherson strut or divorced, it's usually about a quarter inch. So since we're at seven and seven eighths uh, uncompressed, we have to go down to seven and three quarters compressed. So just an eighth inch. So we had, what was that, a quarter inch too much preload? 
And what too much preload can do is it won't let the rear end squat like it should. Mm -hmm. And then um, when you corner, it might want to lift the outside wheel a little bit easier. Um, but you know, we'll get this all dialed in now. So, and then we'll redo the dampers as well. Yes, sir. Because the dampers are going to be working not as hard now. We have less preload, so it's not wanting to extend as much. Those dampers are mainly for rebound extension speed. You know, I was thinking the same thing, Zane. Were you? <laughs> there we are. Three quarter. Uh, so I was recording, but late, Zane, the homie Zane said basically we got a link in the shock. I left the collar in place. And then you can kind of see the little gap that's forming. Yeah. yeah. So essentially, not, how much your how much high is gonna raise? Well, not always, because well, actually, you're lucky. Yeah, this is double wishbone, mm -hmm. so in this case, it is one to one. So I lengthen this. Um... What is that? An eighth of an inch at mm -hmm. most. Mm -hmm. It's gonna raise it about an eighth of an inch. So that's just to compensate for any sag we might run into. Beautiful. That's usually how most uh, that, the companies will tell you to actually torque them if you get a set of fortune autos. They'll tell you to do this, but you just get a screwdriver, hammer, can use it like a chisel. I moved it a little bit, not much, but that's all it really needs. The top one might be a little bit more annoying. Because it'll spin, yeah. And there's not much preload on it, so let's just hope for the best. Done. It's so dusty, my gosh. Just a preload, baby. I want to okay. see what I want to see what it do now, man. No lie, but it digs. Be for this is all for the digs, you know. Be for axles, yeah. Sheesh. All right, man. I'm gonna skip a lot of these steps, man. So real quick, I'm just gonna run through this real quick, and we're just gonna skip to the wheel being off. Ta da! I'm gonna just skip through this too, man. I'm gonna take off all this again. It's gonna be us banging it out with the purse in three, two, one, go. So why not show you guys my play? I haven't taken off the wheel bearing yet. You can see it move in the back, man. In the actual like bearing place. Wow. It's not happy. Ta-da! Yay! It's all out. Cleaned it up, everything. Uh, now I gotta put it back together, and then we'll do the readjustment on the coils, and we'll be on our merry way. This one aside, it went a lot faster. Like I said, we're gonna hop back into this and it'll be all prepped and ready to go in three, two. All right, all right. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I'd explain it to you guys, but I did have to take off this exhaust to get the other axle out. I just loosened it from right here from this, um, from the, where, you know, the axle back. Moved it this way, shifted it this way so we didn't have to drop it all. That is cracked. <laughs> and then now we fixed everything else, you know? Everything else is on there, tighten that up. Something I'm going to do in the future, I don't know if you guys are going to see it in this, this video, but if you guys can see, the bolt does not stick out as far as back as it should be because this flange is a lot fatter. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, order some new 370 axle bolts. So you would need 12 of them because it's six and six and you could reuse like the nuts and washers and whatnot. See, that wasn't too bad. That was like, that went by fast, you know? This stuff never goes by fast on this channel unless I'm racing somebody, you know? Wait. Oh, that's right. Huh? Once you guys have successfully pulled your e-brake up. What's the torque spec, my boy? 177 foot-pounds. Then obviously put your cotter pins out there once you're done torquing them, you feel me? All right, so check this out, man. Bit a bit of a two finger gap right here. And over here, we're a little bit, estamos más reducidos, mi gente. You know, can't even get my two fingers in there, so we're about to raise this up just a tad bit, just a tad, and then get it centered, because I don't want to have it too low, because then stuff on the bottom hits, you know, so. Got the mad scientist hard at work here, you feel me? Just in my front preload. And apparently, something I've noticed is if we mess with the rear two, it'll mess with the front two, and now we have to, you know, fix the front two. Something I also took into consideration 
this tire was overinflated. It might have been my fault. It might have been somebody else's. Who knows? But I dropped them down the third from. They were at like 36. Stock is 35. The stock is 35, I think. And then uh, I got them at 30 now. In the rears, I'm rocking 28. 28, 30. Yeah, these are all seasons. And then the other ones are some Pilot Sport Forge, you know. So. And the other thing to mention too, they're wider, so they distribute that force out a little more. Evenly. Yeah, these are definitely wider than stock for sure. So you need less air pressure to like have the same amount of like you know forced to lift up your car <clears throat> i think this is the size in the rear when you stock i'm not sure could be wrong but it is. pretty sure it's 255 though so there you go it, that's why we have less air 30. so you guys saw the car rides beautifully man took it on the togs right now oh my gosh world of difference still need to die a little quite a bit but um for right now man it feels amazing the front i need an alignment as well but like i said man right now it feels so good shout out to my boys and they're always coming in through clutch for your boy you feel me what can i say man Nobody knows how to dial in cars properly. each video man i'm already parked station in the seta i'm about to roll it up have a good time and enjoy myself for the rest of the day edit out a vlog for you guys bless it out for tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys found it educational in some way shape or form if you guys did make sure to smash that thumbs up button let me know what you guys learned let me know what you guys like to share down in the comments below let me know if you guys do things differently let me know if there's a different method to do something man let me know down in the comments below man let's chop it up it's always a good time it's always good vibes i uh, appreciate you guys for always showing support and always coming back to the videos man it means the world to me man that you guys are here to support me thus far man and we're only going to be here to take it further man i hope you guys stick along for the journey by hitting that subscribe button hit that bell while you're there because i don't want you guys to miss out on the video and i know you're going to be upset too when that happens man so just hit it right now now that we're both here and with that being said guys i don't want to take up too much of you guys time i hope you guys have an amazing blessed day and i'll catch y'all on the next video